So in this video, you're going to learn how to build your own AI agent that can scrape leads from any industry, any niche within minutes. And if you're new, my name's Charlie and AI automation has changed my life and I cannot wait for it to change yours. So without further ado, if you're tired of scraping leads manually or paying for expensive softwares, then I've got you in this video. Everything I share in this video is completely free. So get a coffee and let's jump straight into it. So let me just give you a really quick demo and show you how insane this is firsthand live. So in this case, we want to scrape this URL, which is agents in Florida. And we want to be able to get their first name, their phone number, their experience, every detail like that and put it into a simple Google Sheets without us having to do anything. And all we have to do is click one button. So let's run this automation and show you how this works. Once you click test workflow, we can even pull up the Google Sheets right here so you can watch it do it live. Um, and it is essentially fetching the um, yeah, data from this URL, which yeah we've given it, it is going to extract the information and put it into the Google Sheet, which you're gonna see in literally a few seconds. Once this turns green, you'll see that it will turn this blank Google Sheets into leads, and this can be for whatever niche you want, any industry you want, you can see that it is filling it out right now. It's given us Stacy, which was the uh, first realtor on this page, but obviously you could do this for any business directory. It could be yellow pages, it could be Yelp, you name it, it can do it. So let's jump into how you would actually build this. And obviously you can get way more information than just their first name, their phone number, their experience, any information on this page you can get. And then you can also develop it one step further and actually get it to write out like personalized emails to them, uh, proposals, everything like that. So this is going to be a foundational video for beginners and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step and there's actually a template you can use which is plug and play which is completely free to do so. Um, so let's jump straight into it but obviously you can develop it is what I'm trying to say. Um, so let's just go to Google. To Google, let's just put this up here um, and you're gonna search for N8N. If you're not familiar with N8N, it is just a software like make.com or Zapier. It just has a lot more capabilities and it's a bit more developer heavy, you could say. Um, and it's a little more complex, but it's pretty insane. And they obviously have a free option, um, which is the cloud option, which is what you are going to get started with. So you can very easily just click get started for free. Once you click that, you would create your account and I'm gonna be walking you through this step by step. Um, once you put in your full name, your company email, your password, um, and just your account like username, you just sign in very easily. It will bring you to a page like this and I wanna keep this as yet yeah, raw as possible. So this is what it will look like on your end. Obviously you won't have automations pre-built. Um, that doesn't matter because we're gonna get started with a plug and play one. Um, and this is obviously for beginners. You're gonna go down here to where it says templates. And once you click on templates, you're gonna see the amount of like automation workflows they have is insane, which basically means that if you have a client or a prospect that wants an automation being built like an AI chat agent, you can see that you can literally just copy and paste it because they already have plug and play templates. Like, I don't think you realize how insane AI is gonna get. Like you can see here that you can very easily just use this workflow for free. And there are over 1200 workflows as you just um, have seen. But the one that we're going to be using for scraping Google or scraping just any link or business directory to get leads is gonna be um, one called uh, Gina, I believe. So if you search for Gina, you essentially see that there's this automation by Derek Chung. Shout out to Derek, he's the one that built this. Um, so once you get to this page, you are going to click use workflow. And once you click use workflow, it will load up and it will look like this. So don't be intimidated. I know it looks um, scary. The, I have to admit the UI they don't help their situation by making the UI like this. I think make.com looks a lot simpler. When you first load into that, I remember loading into that like a year or two ago, and it was just the most overwhelming thing, but I promise you I'm gonna simplify this really easily for you. Um, so all we really need to do is just connect a few API keys um, so it works. Like that's all we need to do. So for example, you're going to click on this one, and if you click on the three dots, click open, you're going to see information like this. And this, to put it very simply, is the URL that you want to scrape. This is as simple as it gets. Um, one thing you will need to do, and I wanna make this step by step, is go over to Google, and you do just need to sign up for a free Gina account. So Gina is, yeah, essentially you can see here a search foundation, um, because Google does block certain things. Yeah, once you create your account, it's very easy to use. Um, you can click on API. It looks really confusing. I promise you, you just need to follow me here. Um, what this will do is basically any URL that you put right here, it is gonna give you the correct uh, reader URL, which we are going to put very easily into this URL right here. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So for example, if we go to Google 
and we go for Yellow Pages US, um, which is a business directory. So if you want to scrape like roofers or HVAC or local businesses, you can do that. Um, so if we just go for like, I don't know, let's say, let's say roofing or roofing contractors, Los Angeles, click find and give it a second to load. You basically, yeah, just want to, you can see here that you've got all of this information. Um, there's quite a lot of leads here that we want to scrape. So we can just uh, copy that URL, go into Gina very easily, just paste it in here. You don't need to know what any of this means. You just need to follow me step by step. And once you copy this URL, you can then just paste it in right here. So if you paste it in, that is essentially it. Just make sure that you um, connect your API key because right here, you'll need to do that. So have it as, um, yeah, create new credential very easily. You just, um, yeah, go into Gina and you want to find your API key by essentially going to manage API key and you'll find it right here. So yeah, you just wanna copy that go here, put the name as authorization, and you just wanna paste in the URL, um, or sorry, the API key. And once you do that, click save, and it will, it'll be green. Um, so once you do that, you're basically good to go. Um, just make sure that's turned on, which it will be. And then, yeah, just paste in the URL that you want to scrape. And this can be any URL that you want. Um, so then go back to Canvas, and this is essentially just the um, Canvas or the like overview, essentially. Um, make sure you save it as you go. Um, so from this point on, you're pretty much good to go. Just make sure you um, connect your Google Sheets. So if you um, yeah go here, click open, just make sure you have connected your Google Sheets. So you do that by creating a new credential. Long story short, a new credential, um, I don't know why they couldn't just make it as like new connection. That would have been a lot easier for people like me and you who can't code to understand. But a new credential basically just means like you're connecting like Google Sheets to um, yeah, N8N essentially. So yeah, you just wanna create a new credential. It's as simple as logging in with your Google Drive um, and then just selecting the actual uh, Google Sheets that you want it to paste like this information into. And it's as simple as that pretty much. Um, just make sure that we uh, click map automatically because you wanna do it for us. Um, and yeah, the only final thing is to just customize it. So obviously you can put whatever URL you want to scrape right here. Once you've done that, you can obviously, um, if you click on information extractor, you can change the information that you wanted to scrape. So if you go down here and you, um, yeah, give it a better system prompt. So in this case, you can just copy and paste this. It would be already in there when you load this up as the plug and play template from Derek. Um, but you can see that if you want more information, so we've said each lead should have a full name, their experience, a phone number, but you could obviously, if you look at this, um, yeah, this page, we could get their company name. So if we go back here, we could say something like um, company name. Let's see what else we want it to scrape in this page. Um, maybe their rating score. So the reason you might want that is because you could potentially get it to do like a, um, like a, well, I mean, if you could see their ratings, um, that would be helpful because then you could potentially reach out with a solution, which could be like a reputation management um, automation for them. So if we just leave it as that, go back to Canvas, save it. Um, in this case, yeah, we can obviously just remove this. So let's remove that. Let's put it up side by side, just like what we did in the intro. Um, so yeah, let's have it like this. And then we can simply test the workflow. And once we click te uh, test, it is going to fetch the um, URL that we've given it through Gina, which basically just um, yeah allows us to have a correct URL. You can see that it's fetched the um, URL, which is perfect. It is now extracting the information from Yellow Pages, roofing contractors, which we've done as a live demo for this uh, YouTube video. And within a second, yeah, as I said, it will be green. And then once it's green, yeah, it would obviously paste it in. So you can see that it's given us the uh, full name, experience. Did it manage to get the company name? Yes, it did. It obviously managed to get the uh, rating score for those that have that as an option. So for example, Tip Top Roofing has a rating score of three. So we could potentially you know, branch off this automation and extend it to build a maybe a proposal that's automated that reaches out to them um, with like a, an offer to improve their review score. That would be a valid solution that you can sell to the marketplace. And this is an amazing way of going about that. 
Um, so you can see that, yeah, obviously you gave the full name, experience, phone number, company name, rating score, and you could have done way more information. Whatever is on this page, it can do. But hopefully this has made sense and you may need to rewatch this, um, yeah, back over because I can appreciate my first time using NA10 was not an easy one. I promise you, like the learning curve is a little bit steep, um, but this is by far the easiest automation that I found out there, the one by Derek. Um, and yeah, if you just follow these steps, it will work. And I've done so much research on this um, tool and this is by far the easiest one to start with if you are a beginner. So that's why I've made this video. So hopefully you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe and stay updated by definitely subscribing because I'm going to be dropping more N8N related tutorials shortly on the channel. So you can obviously get the um, latest best automations and yeah, I'll do the work for you by learning it and then just sharing um, some really cool stuff. So that's the goal of this channel. So yeah, subscribe and you can watch some videos up here um, that I'll put. So yeah, have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next video.